and I can't see him now. He's just behind this little sh um, bush thicket, just off to my right there. You can, there we go. You just saw him move. Now, oh, where is this lioness going? Because I don't think there's water there. Oh, there's two male in Yala. Look at that well-spotted Senzo. Two male in Yala in the distance displaying. But I don't know where this lioness is going. So those male in Yala are busy displaying at the moment. Look at that, that in Yala dance. They're moving around, circling one another. We've seen that a number of times before and the winner will then it's basically just a dominance display try to show off show that they are bigger and stronger than the than the other one or um i suppose just rather bigger um and then the loser will then move off occasionally they do fight though i have seen them display like that and then fight that lioness has just seen them we've got a perfect spot to view them from across here now this lioness is just in front of Weir Taylor camp. I wonder where she's going though. But look how, and the other thing is, is that these Inyala might be so focused on one another, they might not rec uh, realize the lioness is potentially showing interest in hunting them. Let's see, this, this could go, this is wonderful. I see the male has hung back. He's not disturbing her, so he's still lying down in the long grass in front of us. Let's focus, stay with the female for now. But you can see she's definitely stalking. Those male in Yala are still, still displaying. Oh, this could get very interesting, everyone. She's stalking. She's not far from them. Luckily, we've got a perfect spot here. We can see across the clearing. And she must be about 60 or 70 meters away from them, maybe more, maybe a, maybe 80 meters away. It's not too far, but she will still have to get much, much closer. Wow, this is amazing. Very exciting. I really hope she's lucky. I think she's been spotted by one in Yala already. There's three male in Yala there, actually. And some impala. So there's, there's actually a lot in that clearing across, but I can't see where that lioness is now. Oh, there she is. Wow. She's very, very close. Everyone, this could get interesting. She's not too far. Those males are still completely engrossed in one another, focused on each other. Oh, come on. Now, I'm not sure. You know, we never support either predator or prey, but a part of me would like this lioness to get something to eat because she does look a bit hungry. But we will see how it unfolds. Last night we know these lions, w well, this lioness doesn't look like she was, she was lucky with the kill. She's sitting down. Now they are patient hunters, but I wonder why she isn't trying to stalk a little bit closer, unless she's decided she might not be able to stalk any closer. The thing is, she's still got, she's still got quite a distance to go. Now, big open space. The other thing is, if you notice, the corner of the camp, the corner of the camp fence, is basically directly in her line of sight now. So I wonder if she thinks she's unable to get around there. No, there she goes again. There she goes again. See, the other thing is, I wonder, 
Uh, you see that lioness, she's a little bit nervous, I'll tell you why. The staff members, staff members um, just outside of Uyatele, and that's why she keeps turning and looking back. Let's see. <coughs> Senza, I wonder if... Oh, now, do I move or don't I? Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to move a little bit. If she does get up and start moving again, um, then I'll stop. But this just for now. Let me try to get across the dam here quickly. sitting behind us. Sorry, a bit bumpy here. Okay, just gonna get up and out here quickly. Like I said, we don't want to disturb them in any way, so I'm just going to, for some reason Wendy's making a little noise now, not sure what that's from, doesn't sound very healthy, let's have a look, can we still see that line, yes we can, we've got a straight, a clear view of her straight ahead, uh, just to the left of Batenzo, left, there we go, there she is. still around there same spot they haven't moved yet but I think I'm trying to see what else is disturbing this line there she seems okay she's still focused on the Inyala uh, Chantal would you like to just give me Rashni's question again please Rushni, so within the coalition, you were speaking about the dominance now of the coalition. Um, the, the the dynamic generally from what I've seen, it remains right through until those lions eventually die of either natural causes or being pushed out by other lions. But once it's been established, the one will remain dominant right through until they get challenged and pushed out or killed. Excuse me, but... Um, so Roshni, yeah, that's generally dynamic within within coalitions, within the um, the hierarchy. There's one that has been established, and he will be more dominant than the others. And then unless he is challenged or killed, um, that that hierarchy will remain. There we go. Let's watch her. Look at the, her stalking head down. Now also, it's getting a bit darker. And those Inyala were moving away from her through the thicket. So all that that means is it might be a bit easier. Now there's Impala and Inyala there. Oh, look at her. So focused. Closing that gap at the moment. Now this is the section that we said might be a bit tricky, very open. Crossing the road. Look at 
that. Oh, she's very close now, everyone. Very close. You might, in fact. Oh, you see how she just dropped? She'll be looking around to see where those other Inyala moved off to. There's still one Inyala straight ahead of her. Um, you might see there it is. There we go. And the Impala, but the Impala, I think, have just spotted her. If you just look to the left, look at that. See, that female could potentially give her position away. This is quite tense now. It just shows you at times, especially in these areas, <clears throat> if you do want to see lions stalking or potentially hunting, it takes a lot of patience. And I'm so glad we decided to stay with these lions. It can take a lot of time and there's no there's no or well, there's nothing to say that she is going to be successful now with this hunt. But we never know if those Inyala still move around there. She may be able to stalk. And the reason why I keep saying the Inyala is because the Impala do see more than one female is has definitely picked up on her. But with those Inyala still moving around and there was at least three that I saw. And she looks even closer to the Inyala than she is to the Impala. So if she manages to launch herself out, especially with those Inyala moving towards that thicker area, might be a bit easier for her to to hunt in there or to stalk even closer but she's done amazingly well to get that far already the male hasn't moved everyone he's still lying on the other side of the dam we won't show you him now we can't really see him from here but he's still lying on the other side of the dam and waiting patiently Who was it? I think it was Beck saying romantic night out or date night, potential <laughs> moonlit dinner. <laughs> maybe Beck, maybe, who knows. She spotted something else now. Oh, there's an impala behind her. But the Impala has seen her too. Now this could give her position away. Now that Impala is already running off. No chance of hunting that Impala. She should have stuck with the Inyala, I think. Maybe she decides to turn around and sort. No, oh, no. She's going the wrong way. But how, is, how amazing is this right outside camp? Impala running off now. They've spotted him. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't alarm call though. Very surprised they didn't alarm call. All right. Well, we'll hang around here a little bit longer and see if there's any change and if she does. Um, focus on something else um, but while we do that let's head across to Taru it sounds like she's found some elephant <laughs> 